up next, an update on the California shooting. They said that one more person had died, so the death toll is up to 11 now. And we'll have a full update as soon as the commercials are done. Thanks to my new subscriber. I see you must enjoy the videos. So if you do enjoy the videos, please subscribe. If you're confused on where the subscribe button is, it's down below. And it starts with an S, and it's got S-U-B for subscribe. And if you want to know when I upload the videos, hit that bell. Thank you for everybody for watching. I'm glad you enjoy, and thank you for helping me build this channel. Us patriots got to stick together. God bless you all. And thank you for watching. Watch to the end. You can see the information on the latest update on the, the Chinese man that uh, committed suicide and murder on the Chinese New Year. Coming up next. Again, hit that subscribe button. We're getting them little by little. We accept anybody, Democrats or Republican. We are open for debate, but obviously YouTube doesn't think we are. They shut off my comments, so I'm sorry. You can't comment. They don't want us sticking together. Okay, here we go. Another brave hero. Thank you for standing up. Hi, Martha. Brave, absolutely. You know, that young man, he also said that he had bruises all over his body. So you can only imagine how violent that encounter had to be. The sheriff called him a hero. And the situation, of course, could have been worse if he, he did not jump into action. Now, authorities say the suspect, 72 year old Fu Can Tran, shot 20 people Saturday night at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio here in Monterey Park, just east of Los Angeles, after a large Lunar New Year's Eve celebration. So now, a total of 11 people have died from this senseless violence. 10 people were injured, but we are learning that sadly, one of them has since died. So now, a total of 11 people are dead including dance instructor Ming Wei Ma and Mimi Man. Her family describes her as a loving sister, aunt, and friend. Mimi's niece shared even more kind words about her. Take a listen. Mimi is a really kind-hearted person, really kind, genuine, friendly. Um, she is really cheerful. Um, she is our family's biggest cheerleader and mediator and Now, about 30 minutes after that first attack, police say Tran entered into that second ballroom nearby with a gun that apparently that Good Samaritan wrestled to get out of his hands. The sheriff described the weapon that the suspect has as a semi-automatic pistol with an extended large capacity magazine. And again, he was able to get that out of his hands, preventing possibly another attack. The sheriff says officers encountered a van matching what witnesses described as the suspect's vehicle in nearby Torrance the next day. And then Sunday morning, that day, officers say Tran shot and killed himself. As yeah, unfortunately, the coward killed himself. The handgun was recovered from that van. And right now, a press conference is going on. We have a lot of city officials there talking about the support here for the community and putting a stop to gun violence. So we are continuing to learn more about the situation, continuing to hear more about the victims and the lives lost in this devastating tragedy.
Martha? Thank you very much, Christina. So before we go today, on Friday, we lost a truly dear friend and colleague. God bless. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Subscribe.